There are about 9,000 people that went to the Chainsmokers concert here in Providence. It's the first concert at the dunk following the bombing in Manchester, and as a result, security has increased both inside and out. A quick security briefing outside the Dunkin' Donut Center before thousands gather inside. Just weeks after the deadly bombing at the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester. It's definitely nerve-wracking and you don't really quite know what to expect. What concert goers can expect is a stepped-up security presence. We've done bomb sweeps. Um, we've uh, certainly having everybody pass through metal detectors, checking bags. So Dunkin' Donuts Center General Manager Larry Laporte says officers will be looking for anything out of the ordinary. You learn every time something happens else happens and we learn that uh, we do a great job securing the facility but it's outside the facility so uh, there are both uh, undercover patrols and uniform patrols patrolling the perimeter of the building. Despite the bombing happening just two weeks ago many purchased their tickets for the concert in Providence months in advance and are looking forward to a good show. Very excited for the concert but at the same time because it was so recent um, you know something that you have to keep in mind just be aware of be like aware of who you're standing next to. I mean I'm with my family, so of course I'm going to be more vigilant since that happened. I'm going to be more aware. Not that I wasn't before, but I'll probably be extra aware of my surroundings now. If anything, the tragedy bringing people together with a strong message. We're not going to let it stop us from, from doing things. Providence police say there haven't been any threats. They're just taking extra precaution. For example, they're checking the trash bins more often and emptying them. They say they'd rather be safe than sorry. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.